so hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel now in this video we are going to look at like how we can crack the bootloader of our phone uh, in crack in the sense like uh, how we can unlock the bootloader of our phone now here i am using the redmi note 8 pro device so if you are and this is based on the mediatek so if you are uh, using a device any device which is based on the mediatek so you can just follow this process now here i will specifically talk about the redmi note 8 pro Uh, so first of all, what the step which we uh, which you have to do is you have to come to the settings uh, from here and then in the settings go to the about phone section and here you have to tap the MIUI version like literally seven times. Okay, now here when it will come back uh, come that no need you are already already a developer so you can you just have to come back and you can you can just scroll down here you can see the additional settings over here. Now scroll down and you can see the developer options here. Now go to the developer options and you can see here that you have to like this OEM unlocking this will be disabled by default but you have to enable it. And then second thing which you uh, you have to see that uh, you can see that MI unlock status. So when I will click this so you can see that here it is here it is written that, uh, that my device is locked. So uh, if your device is also locked then you can just follow the same procedure. Now you can uh, agree on this and you can add the account and device but make sure that you are connected to mobile network not the Wi-Fi. Now guys this is not a mandatory step uh, this is not so important step you can skip this step as well uh, because we are uh, unlocking it un like unauthorized because uh, we are not informing the we are not informing the Redmi or the company that we are unlocking our uh, bootloader. So it's completely fine. Uh, let's proceed with that now. Am I unlock status? So you can see that my device is locked. Then uh, third thing which you have to do is you have to click on the USB debugging and turn it on. Okay, so you can you just have to turn the USB debugging on. Then the fourth thing is that the security uh, settings of the USB debugging must be kept on. Now guys, don't worry. This is not uh, this will not break your phone or break your phone. Don't worry because uh, this is also my phone, so I have to take care of this as well. So uh, just uh, proceed with the warning and all uh, because this is just a lame warning. Uh, this does not, this will not affect your phone. Don't worry. Click on accept. Okay. So now uh, the fourth fourth thing which you have to do is uh, first thing obviously developer option. Then second thing is make sure that this OEM unlocking is on. Third thing is that make sure that uh, the USB debugging. You can see here that the USB debugging must be on. And the fourth thing is should be the USB debugging of the security settings must be on. Okay. Now our uh, the work of our phone is uh, as of now over. Now uh, what uh, you have to do is you have to turn the power off of the phone. Okay, now uh, let's go to the PC. Okay, guys. So here we are on the PC, and you can see that uh, when you will uh, you just need one file. Okay. and uh, when you will extract this file so you will get this folder uh, which will be extracted from this file okay from this file now uh, when this folder will be found you have to just double click and enter this folder now here what you have to do is you have to click on start double click uh, to start and then you uh, here we can see that there are four options first is unlock bootloader second is lock then third is bypass and then exit so first of all we have to select unlock bootloader then press enter and you just have to press y over here and then again press enter now uh, what we have to do is we have to connect our phone okay so what uh, we'll do is that we'll connect our phone now here there, uh, there is one thing to notice that guys you have to connect your phone first of all what we have to do is you have to uh, press the volume up button okay uh, okay let me focus this thing Oh man okay you can see that there are two volume buttons first is volume down and this is volume up button so you have to press the volume up button and uh, you have to connect this adapter uh, like you have to connect this usb uh, thing to your phone okay okay so let's do that and uh, you just uh, um, see the changes which are happening on the pc screen guys uh, okay my recording is on just just see this Okay, guys. So you can see that in my PC, uh, you can see that there are various uh, codes which are being written. Okay, so now you can see that that successfully wrote sec fg, and uh, here we are confirmed that okay, our device uh, bootloader has been unlocked. Now, what you have to do, guys? You don't have to just directly op uh, open your phone. Okay, first you have to press enter twice. Okay, first enter, then second enter. Okay, so you have to press enter two times, and then you have to exit it first of all from here. Okay, after you exited, now the our PC work is completed. Okay, guys, so uh, we are on the phone, and uh, now let's see whether our bootloader is unlocked or not. Let's restart our phone. 
Okay guys, so here you can see that the unlock and our bootloader has been successfully unlocked. Okay, now I'll show you in the tethering in that option also in the developer option I can I will show you just uh, let it reboot. Okay, so here we are on our phone and let's go to setting and let's check whether the bootloader has been unlocked or not. So just scroll down here, click on the additional settings and just when you will scroll down here in the developer option, you can see that in the MI unlock status, our device is unlocked. So that is how guys, you can simply unlock the bootloader and note uh, one thing to note guys that in this process, there is no loss of data. Like there is not even a single phone, photo or a video that will be, uh, you know, that will be deleted. Okay, so uh, in this, this is completely uh, like without loss of data, you can do it. And this is the most easiest way guys in which you can unlock the bootloader of a MediaTek device. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And bhai, in the video, mein Lineage OS is coming. So bhai, you can see that video. Bhi Lineage OS is basically, I mean, it's a big ROM. I've been using it for a few days. So bhai, in the next video, I'll put it in the flashing and I'll put it in the review. So let's go. Okay guys, till then, take care.